people will be feeling in. Good morning, Sherry Norris. Good morning, McGraw. How are you? How was that pie that I dropped off for you guys the other day? It was very good. Was it Dutch it apple? Long. Was it what? Was it Dutch mm-hmm. apple? We had pumpkin and pecan. It was very good. Mm. Yeah. And I didn't eat one piece. And they of had it. a whole. You had no pieces were taken out of it. No. He, he was very good about that. <laughs> he must have had an extra pie in the car. Uh, extra... We were supposed to get three pies. <laughs> yeah. One for you, one for me. Two for you, one, two for me. There you go. All right, uh, Sherry, a lot of talk about this uh, new ID and the new driver's license for the state. What's going on with this real ID? Well, right now we're kind of in limbo because of the extension that we had expired on October 10th. And everything, there's paperwork in place and, you know, Department of Homeland Security is reviewing. There are six states, actually, that are still under review for extensions. And Missouri and Illinois are both in that list. So if the extension is not given, anyone with a Missouri or Illinois driver's license, or also Louisiana, Michigan, New York, or Rhode Island, will not be able to use their driver's license at the airport to get through TSA security starting January 22nd. Is is this for international flights or is this flying anywhere? No, this is going flying to Kansas City, flying to, you know, Chicago. Um, And it doesn't matter what airport, it matters what license you hold. So in other words, if you're going to fly out of St. Louis Airport, but you have a California driver's license, you're fine. But... It's if you have a Missouri or Illinois driver's license right now, they are not compliant. And right now they're under the review for extension process. So, 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 so you how would do need, you would need to have a passport for your ID at the airport. Now, do we think that we'll probably get an extension more than likely? However, since it hasn't happened yet, we're, kind of telling people it's better to if you're traveling especially where it's going to be right at january 22nd or your trip includes that time frame it would be better to apply and get your passport started now where you have plenty of time rather than to wait a week before january 22nd if they haven't given us the extension yet and be on pins and needles as to what you're going to be do because right. then if they don't extend it, you can't use your driver's license. Your ticket's non-refundable. The airline isn't going to give you your money back. Um, so better to do the passport now where you have plenty of time than to wait until the last minute. All right. But not everybody has a passport. But if you do have a – let's start with that. If you do have a passport, that works in lieu of your driver's license starting in January. Right, January 22nd. Okay. Can I, can I, as a resident of Missouri, go and get the correct driver's license from the state today? No. That is what they are working on at the moment, and they have kind of, I guess, their idea, if you will, of what they will do, and that's what's in place, which they're showing Department of Homeland Security, like, here's our plan. But we need time to implement it. We can't, you know, just turn it on and it's going to happen tomorrow because they have to, of course, get all the supplies. They have to educate all the employees. They have all that that they have yet to do. So they have to show that they, in good faith, they have a plan and this is how they're going to implement it for the government to give the extension. Mm-hmm. Uh, and because Missouri, Missouri has gotten a number of extensions already, have we not? Yes, yes. And I, you know, New York is one of the states that's also under review. They do not have a compliant driver's license as well. So um, there's a lot of things that go into it. I think Department of Homeland Security, you know, implemented this so that there would be more of a consistent, you know, information that's with the driver's license that you go through security with. So it's consistent across the United States. But then there's some concern from people, well, what kind of information are they going to have? I don't want them to have this information. And so when Missouri does have the driver's license, people may at that point have a choice. Do you want the one like we have now or do you want the one that's compliant? Keeping in mind, if you don't get the one that's compliant, you're going to need a passport to travel. Right. Very confusing. The drop dead date is what as of today? January 22nd, 2018. Right. All right. Uh, While I have you, Sherry Norris, good information. 
Um, anybody know that the um, Olympics are starting in Seoul, South Korea next, you know, in February? You know, it seemed like it kind of all of a sudden snuck up on us because I started to hear, you know, commercials on television and that. We have not really had a lot of calls for people who expressed like, oh, I want to go to the Olympics. Well, um, I mean, it yeah. sounds like no one wants to go to the Olympics. They can't give these tickets away. It's in South Korea, which, of course, is right near the epicenter of, of where all the hostilities are with, with North Korea. So this might be an Olympics where no one travels to. You know, that's possible, but, you know, if people are interested, they should give us a call. We, there are vendors that we can work with, you know, that can I'm get sure you know, can packages probably, and things I'm, like that. I'm sure you, you can probably get a pretty good deal, right, if it's this late and there's still plenty of tickets and everything to be? I would think on the tickets you can. It's just a matter of the accommodations and, of course, the flights. Right, and and make sure you have your your. Uh, your passport because your because yeah. your regular li driver's license won't won't work all right uh pat uh, sherry uh the uh, spring training trip all sold out no i do still have space it's february 28th to march 5 right. and um we will be going to four games and i'm looking forward i'm, I'm ready for baseball <laughs> yes you are are where are you on the g and carlos stanton sweepstakes uh, my thought is, if he doesn't want to be here, then I don't want him to be here. <laughs> that is a good call there. <laughs> that is a good call. All right, Sherry, have a good week. Thanks for checking in. Okay, talk to you.